for Lou's affirmations today, we have shoot for the moon, because if you miss, you still land amongst the stars. Shout out Star High School 03. <laughs> ah, and this is unusual as well. I have a few shout outs at the top of the show, mm-hmm. which I don't usually do, mm-hmm. but I keep forgetting. I have to shout out Nadia because she had sent me such a sweet message mm-hmm. and it really made my day a couple of weeks ago. So I meant to shout that out. I have to shout out Nat because Nat is another one that reposts us often and she t- taps in a lot. So I have to shout her out. I shouted out the homie La last week, but I'm going to give La another shout out. Shout you out, homie. I got to shout out my homegirl Tahira as well. She taps in often as well. And my brother H. I don't usually do this, but I had to shout y'all out because y'all are super supportive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's more people, but these are just the ones in the, that just happened. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And one more thing before we start the show. Mm. I have to give JJ some flowers. She wasn't here last week, as y'all know. She was sick. The flowers is not for her being sick. Mm-hmm. She still fakes it. The flowers is for... Not too much on me, y'all. Not too much on me. The flowers is for the accountability conversation. I feel like I got my ass whooped. <laughs> and I want to crown you in that, because I made men look bad in that conversation, so I have to give you flowers. Oh, I'm... you must have watched it back. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, ate yeah, that yeah, ass ate... up. Pause, but yes. I ate yes, that yes, ass yes, up. It's not a pause for me, but I ate <laughs> that ass up. So I'm not too much of a man to admit wow. defeat, you feel me? So I wanted, you didn't win top three, was draw that day, oh. but you did win that conversation. I think I won it on Instagram now when we did the vote. All right, but with that being said, welcome to, welcome, welcome to O3 to Infinity, the podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Lou, a.k.a. President Lulu's dad, a.k.a. Mr. O.T. Somebody was absent last week, but she's back. Yay! Yay! My co-host and my BFF, JJ, a.k.a. JT. Hi. Say what's up to the people real quick, you know? I missed y'all. Y'all, I was down. I was out bad, but we, we'll get into that. But I was out real bad. And we can't forget my brother behind the camera, who did an amazing job on the other side of the camera for us last Word week. Up. So we got to shout out my brother, M-I-L-L-X. What's up? Talk to the people. I'm here. I'm here. I'm back where I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. How was your week? I was gonna ask you first because you were sick. So how was your week actually? Terrible. (sighs) Terrible. Y'all, I died. Like for real, y'all. The flu took me out. Like I was out of work. I was just I was out of commission. And I like, if you know me, I don't really ever miss work. Like I'll pull up to work with tissue on my nose. People know. I walk around the building with like, I had a mask on. Like, I was trying to push through. We had an assessment that day, too, and I, like, started to feel sick. And then it was it was up after that. I was, like, out cold. And then I gave it to Christopher. Aw, poor yeah, CT. Yeah, Get yeah, well yeah. soon, my guy. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I'm back and I'm better, you know. And it was nice, too. Like, when I came back, the kids was like, oh, my God, I missed you. And I'm like, back up. The <laughs> shots. <laughs> Jerm crump snatches that got me here. <laughs> so back that ass up. I was so mad. I was like, I'm here because of y'all. That's um, it's a fact. Nah, schools are probably the filthiest it's place in the world. Oh my like, God. for real, for real. So yeah, but now I'm feeling, I got a little cough. So again, like I said, not too much more. But I'm back and I'm here. And I'm happy to be back. We're glad to have you back. Yeah, I miss y'all. I miss y'all. We miss you as well. Yeah, I miss y'all. So how was your week? How have you been? I've been good. Um... We didn't get to talk about it, but like we didn't get into depth. Like last week, me and Mills was like running around. We sat down. We did the live stream with Black Brooklyn. Shout out Max and the whole gang over there. Mm -hmm. Um, we ran down on my sister. Mm -hmm. She was doing a shoot for her line, and me and Mills came through, held it down, started directing shit. Like I said, my mom was hyped because I spoke to mommy. She was like, oh, your sister told me you came in. I was like, yeah, you know, you know, you feel me. So I was like, I was like, mommy, um, I finally. Got my workers' comp situation figured out. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Because a nigga been in the crib getting yeah, nobody. That's <laughs> no crazy. Baby. So you always got to shout out wifey, you know? But, yeah. yeah they, so. they hitting that back page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, I mean, yeah. so, so, I, yeah. so you know? So just yeah. the time for the holidays, the kids don't got to kill me. But, oh, that's right. yeah, other than that, more PT. Um, I got a phone call yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Shout out Mama E. Love you. No, she yeah, yesterday as well, but she called me like two days ago because she found out about my niece. So she called me to check. Mama is my second 
like my second mom that's mm-hmm. just a mother or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. So she had gave me a call to check up on me and tap in with me and stuff like that. So I always appreciate you. Love you, mama. Thank you for tapping in and checking in on your boy. You feel me? Love that. But yeah, other than that, just rehab with the knee and getting bullied by my daughter. I'm still waiting for advice from you girl dads, but mm-hmm. how was your week? Uh, my week was, was smooth, you know what I'm saying? I got, I'm getting a lot of rest this mm-hmm. week than last week because I wasn't really sleeping good, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But uh, this week I'm getting a lot of rest. Uh, sleeping at, going to sleep at 8, so I'm oh. past my bedtime right now. I know, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Music's a jade Period. <laughs> uh, first things first, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Nadine and her sister, Nicole. Mm-hmm. Um, it was their birthday. Uh, nice. So nice. I want to give a shout out to them. They you know, support, they listen. And mm-hmm. He good, because I they definitely if he, if tap he in. didn't say nothing, I was going to pull the mills on him. Oh. <laughs> 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 Now I want to give a you know shout out to them. Happy birthday! Shout out to when you hear this. Um, another thing I want to give a shout out to your homie. Uh, that That's not Sean, my boy yeah, Sean. The to homie him. cast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he says something when we was talking uh, last week. You know, uh, off mic. Uh, he he was he was talking about I guess just relationship and stuff like that. And he said he said something that I kind of like reflected on and something like that when he was like, um. When it comes to like meeting new people, meet new new women and everything, and you know they ask that question like, "What are your intentions?" and this mm-hmm. is that and third, and he was like, um, he likes to say like he likes to get to know them, because like with women they like to be like, "Are you looking for a girlfriend? Are you mm-hmm. looking for a, a wife? Are you looking for this is that and the third? Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, "Hold on, chill real quick. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me Can get, I get to your know, favorite color. Yeah, like, let me get to know you and stuff like that. You, you know, let me see if I like from girl. Like, what's up? Like, yeah. yeah. So like, I took that. I'm like. Nah, you see, because like with me as a Scorpio, I'm not that really good with quite answering questions. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So total to my Virgo brothers, you know I get <laughs> Virgo Nation, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Virgo gay, gay, gay. We be I get a little bit of help with answering some of these questions that they be asking me. So that's you know I mean? it. They want yeah. women want communication. That's yeah. it. Yeah, just and know get you to know is a is a real answer. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, good yeah. one. Yeah, you can't yeah. be mad at that. Yeah. And one more thing, yo. Oh, wow. Subway stories. Oh, <laughs> oh it's bad? Nah, it's nah, been a while. Nah, wow. Yo, I seen something the other day. It was crazy. So this dude came on the train. And my son came through on the train like it was his crib. For real, for real. Oh. Came through with the blunt. <laughs> So they're puffing on the train. That's how nah. I, I did not miss the train. <laughs> not even a little bit. Then my son took his shoes off. Barefoot on the train, son. Barefoot. My son's like, I'm home, you heard? <laughs> Yo, the train ain't your, ain't your living room, dogs. That's what it's good. It's not. You he paid his $3, huh? He was It's $3, you, right? Bro. How much is the train now? Two seventy five, dollars $3. Nah, it's 3 something now. Oh, shit. Yeah. 3 something? Yeah, he home, yeah. bro. That's a yeah. lot. I paid it, too. He paid rent. So, I mean, come on, y'all roommates at this point. Facts. I mean, that's what, that's what it's giving, y'all roommates. Yeah, at the like, hostel, you heard? Like, feel me. Like, that's, that's it. it. Either you get a seat or you stay. You that's know. it. <laughs> Yo, cut it out, people, son. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> nah, really, for real, have some decorum on the subway. <sighs> don't miss that. Have some decorum. Yo, oh my gosh. That's have nasty. some. Have some. Back to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take over. Right, no, no, program. No. no, we loved it. You know, the home, you yes, I did not. Home. Shout out the homie Cash. Shout out the homie S. Dow, all the way from Florida. <coughs> is a Brooklyn native, but came from Florida. Mm-hmm. Tapped in. Next time you got to be on camera. But, you know, mm-hmm. we had a, we had no rules because... Mommy wasn't home. You feel me? We had no rules. Shit was anarchy. We was wilding. <laughs> but back to regular scheduled program. Chance. Oh, three. Yeah, we had eight o'clock. We was wild. I loved it. <laughs> Watching it back, I was like, oh, we had math fun. We had too much fun. That's a good thing, though. Yeah, I know. We need structure, though. That was wild. We, was wild. <laughs> we had no structure. No structure. <laughs> Mommy's the way we was wilding. <laughs> So we did drop, I dropped it a week. I'm going to take that <laughs> accountability. Uh-huh. I dropped the ball last week and I forgot to introduce top three. Uh-huh. I don't know. I forgot that's on me, so I'm going to take that. But with that being said, the people them favorite segment. The people them. Top three, top, top three, three, top three. three. So with the year yes. coming to an end, mm-hmm. we're going to do some type of rap up vibe. So mm-hmm. today's top three is our... Top three albums of 2023. I have to emphasize ours because I don't want no haters in my comments talking about nigga. What? Mm. Yes. You heard? Yes. But you once again, ladies first. Okay. Again, mine is in no order. Okay. All right. Okay. Mine's in order. 
A gift and a curse. Good old gunna. Okay, okay, okay. Good okay, old gunna. Okay, okay, okay. I love me some gunna. Okay. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I don't care about friends. Y'all talk about what you want to talk about. Stitch or not, <laughs> we know how to make some music, and I vibe with it. Okay. Number three for me is a boogie before B O A. Mm -hmm. That's my number three. I knew you were gonna have Boogie. Of course, I love mm -hmm. Boogie. Even though you're from the Bronx, that's my man. Um, I have Daniel Caesar. Never enough. Always gonna have a little. Yeah, you know I mean, um, be a little vibe up in there, and that boy can sing. Okay, he can sing. Number two, <laughs> for all the dogs that we have. <laughs> number two. I'm so Sorry. Sorry that that even made it. My fault. All right, and coming in at a strong. Actually, this one is my top, my top pick. Doja Cat, Scarlett. Mm. She, her music, she is. I don't. Know, I wouldn't even say she's underrated. I think I got. I was put on late. Like I was we put on late. I know you missed oh, the yeah, game. Get the structure. Yeah. Like, I missed the game. Okay, missed the game. I missed one week. I missed the game. I missed the game. I missed the game. I got a little excited. I, I got a little excited. It. I see. All well, right, my, Doja Cat. My number one. I'm always biased. I can't help it. I'm a Brooklyn nigga. Sleepy Hollow, Boys Meets World. Holla at me, Brooklyn, stand up. You heard? I'm losing this. It's all right. You got to listen. So, <coughs> now, number three for you was, not number three, but your third number object. Yeah. yeah. It's Gunna. I kind of already, you know, kind of gave this spill. Like, I love Gunna. I love his music. Um, he has a single. I don't fuck know if that's going to be a part of our rap book. Oh, yeah, fuck but you mean. Fuck you mean, goes crazy. Go crazy. Me and my nephew go was crazy. in the car going crazy on it. He was like, I teach you. Come on now. Keep it cute. I ain't that old. You know what I'm saying? I can get in. You know what I mean? I get in with it. I get in. Um, but nah, nah. I really bang with Gunner. Oh, yeah. Boogie, I do. I, you know, I, had to, I couldn't leave Boogie up there. We know. It's, it's only a three-pack or whatever the case may be, but I enjoyed it as always. Um, For her birthday, I believe that's the, the lead-off single, and I enjoyed mm -hmm. that. I'm not going to front. I did enjoy that. And Boogie's just my man. You heard? Mm -hmm. I think he's super underrated. I don't think he gets the credit he deserves mm -hmm. and the consistency that he showed for, I think, like six, seven years now. That I agree with. Yeah, nobody, he don't get the credit for how consistent he's been. Yeah, I agree with that. So, I don't think he's as Boogie, mainstream. Oh, three support you, all right? Okay, I feel you. And Daniels, I think, is just an unspoken R&B. Like, he's, he here. The he's crazy part time. Was, I didn't hear none of those projects you got, but that's crazy. We'll continue. That's yeah, I'm, I didn't hear not crazy. one of them. I don't know fuck you mean because of the radio. I, don't, I didn't hear not one of those albums. But go ahead. Oh, wow. Well, then I can't say anything because well, I didn't hear any of those either. So. <laughs> that's why I said hours. Don't talk That's me. why I said hours. Yeah. Hopefully, Jamil heard some of them. First of all, I know he did, so it's fine. But yeah, Daniel Caesar, I was listening to that on like on replay. I really enjoy his voice. Uh, I don't know if I gotta explain number two too much. Mm. For the dogs, them you got rich baby daddy. You got first person shooter. <sighs> Come on, what need I say more? See, and this is eight a.m. and shop. Need I say more? I feel like a I really give hot a caveat with this with this top three. Is because we're still pulling out singles. No, it's just it's just songs that made me vibe to that album. That's fair. All right, yeah, you right. Cause so, you're right. So now, Doja Cat, yeah, I I have not had. The She's in a league of her own. I have not had a pleasure to listen to her music. She's in a league, and you know what's funny? I actually think you would fuck with her. She low key is like a lyricist. Like not to be funny, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't think. She raps like she's a rapper. That's what they say on the radio. So yes, yeah, so she's a rapper, like, and like if you listen to her. Yeah, like she got bars. I think she's underrated. But that's well, she, a lot. She's not underrated. People know her talent, but people don't talk about star. her enough oh, about it? being a rap, like a lyricist, oh, okay. is what I mean. Well, she's so I take that. She's back. a mega star, bro. She is a mega star, oh. but I feel like people just see her as a pop star, mm -hmm. and not like, oh nah, like she really got bars, like she's low. I mean, I think she'll give you know some of our favorite female rappers a run for, their a run for their money. I don't doubt it. Yeah, <clears throat> nah, she definitely she I got a fan of me. I don't doubt it, but. My number one, <laughs> I feel like, is underrated. This is my personal, like, favorite album of the year. Yeah, you talk about it. Right? Hands down. I think it's well done. I personally don't. It's only one song I have to skip because I can't listen in front of the kids. But other than that, the album, I don't skip nothing. I listen to the album mm -hmm. from beginning to end mm -hmm. all the time. I don't know if it's Brooklyn bias, but I, I am a Sleepy fan. But nah, 
That album go crazy. I ain't go for it. I do fuck with it. So, Boys Meets World, my number one. Shout you out, Sleepy. Brooklyn Forever, you right? It's the Perks one, right? Yeah. That's yeah. always trash, though. It's, it's, it's not for us. Yeah, it's, a dance, it's a dancing record. It's not trash. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a... Maybe like Jersey fist pump vibe. That's how I took it. Cause the album, it wasn't, we love crazy. a little fist pump moment. Yeah, I think that's why I said it's not for us, but that song go. That song. You know they always want like one of those vibes. Yeah, you gotta have one for the other market. Songs, bro. Nah, yeah. fuck with the Jersey joint, the Jer- Jersey music, but that shit is trash. I feel you. All right. Well, well, we'll yeah. let us know who got it this week. I heard all of the all the albums. Oh, oh, Dad! Oh shit! Yeah, everything. Oh, you're a music head. Music head. Yeah. Music. And yeah. I, and, I, and I do love the Doja Doja Cat. You know, I knew that was coming. Cause that's, that, nah, that nah, album those really those is fire. Those is, those is no, fire. I, had, I had nothing but good things about it. Yeah, so, uh, I think you should album. like listen to it. The me. first album was, was my favorite Doja album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she's the only female artist that they got me hard. Like, just listen to her. But that's just a side. All right, so we know who I <laughs> We know who I That's not that Nobody you. Crazy. Nah, nobody you really on my, have to know how good that album is, though. I don't want to hear that. Nobody on my nah, list. Nah, he didn't even say the word I, I said that. I said the first album. He like for you as well. Like, he like, you know. Nah, no lie. Mm-hmm. Jay, you could have had it because mm. you was out last week and we was missing you. <laughs> we, That's we was. Crazy. I didn't even have to hear nothing. I was just like, yo, Jay got it because we <laughs> missed you that much. But That's crazy. you didn't have Drake nah. and you didn't have Chris Brown on your joint. Nah. You would have got Wait. it. Oh, you didn't do your honorable mentions? Huh? Oh, uh, Magic 3 Nas I had on there yeah. and Lady London. Yeah, nah. mm. So. Mm. Her album, like, unfortunately, I don't. I mean, I don't know her numbers, but yeah, she I think she's like so a really I, I don't good. Think her day. Yeah, yeah, like I think she's I like really good on social media, too. but <laughs> she's also too. lyrics. Yeah, those are my two. Yeah, but I always gotta go with Drake. So you know? Lou got it. I think as soon as I heard, Drake, yeah. I was like, yeah, you gonna win. Yeah, Drake was on my. Regardless if I use albums from her, loss was gonna make it. Yeah. So yeah. either way, one of them was. Gonna I just make can't it. listen to that. You could have said Fab and. I couldn't listen to that. I see he dropping side. He on the way too. I see yeah. dropping freestyle on side like that. We need, I didn't even need to hear it. You know what I mean? You could have just nah, said we, it. Just, yeah, we, we love Fab over here too. So. Yeah, you could have just said that. Yeah, yeah, and Fab, Fab, you could have said Fab 1, 2, and 3. And then that would've, <laughs> he would have got it. Nah, that's fair. See, you uh, you got to win. I, yeah, because it's really I'm proud so of you. I'm <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> Don't don't, 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 don't play the game for her. We had in the year strong, don't, huh? huh? We had in the year strong. Don't Who fall. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't never seen somebody. You just got your flowers and you still mad you lost. <laughs> That's crazy. She, she don't like losing for shit. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad listen, at it. I'm, listen. I enjoy two. Of, well, I know two of the three, and I enjoy two of the three. Like the sleepy one, I will actually listen. You take, I probably because you, you always like talk about like it. Nah, yeah, my, 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 my thing. I'm more thing. impressed that he heard all six. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear all I six. I feel like he's a music. Yeah, he's listening to music. I don't listen okay. to that music. I I gotta relate a little bit. Every Friday. Well, you have to listen to Doja. I'll take a listen. If you you listen to sleepy, I'll listen. Yes, to that's okay. Fair. That is fair. Report I will back. take a listen. Yes, we will report back next week. Period. Period. Um. So. All right, this is a topic. It's funny too, right? Because mm-hmm. this topic ba- is coming off of like some situations that's going on. Because my mm-hmm. man is shout out party, you know, team dogs, team tall niggas. He is sitting down and he's telling his story. So we're him everywhere, t- everywhere. Mm-hmm. Come to O three, but um, hold on, hold on. Shout out, to, shout out to five, five eight, and five nine. Oh, now that's, right. that's the new combat to Matter before girl. we even get into this. Oh. Before, we, before we get into this. This segment, let, let's take a moment oh, shit. to address you being nasty business. Okay, let's take a moment. Okay. Your height shaming uh, with your little, the, the fella circle, your bro man. What, homie, what, 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 homie cast. Homie cast. Yes. Very cute. I like it. Tap into the name. <laughs> um, I, Walk me through that because All it right. was giving very much like, first. if you were a female... You're only going to date tall niggas. And I don't like that for you. Okay? So, run it back. First off, let me start off. I owe my brother Mills an apology. Mm. I was told I was height shaming him. And that was not my intentions at all. So, I apologize to you for allegedly height shaming you. I did not mean to do that at all. It wasn't just me. Damn, I'm getting flowers and you get an apology. Damn! It's not just me. It's it's, it's average niggas. (laughs) No, no. Talk to the people then. Talk to the people Talk to everybody. No, but they didn't. No, but he didn't reach average. (laughs) Wait, is that still high shaming? Is that still high shaming? All right, no, sorry, no. You no. don't stop. All right, I apologize. No, because I want to know what's high shaming. No, because I'm. This is new to me. I don't mean to shame nah, anybody. This is new to me. No, no. Yo, I'm, you act like you came out the womb six times. 
<laughs> You're not, crazy. I all I'm saying, right? We was having a conversation, and I don't even know how we talked about height. I forgot right now. <laughs> we was talk. We were just talking. We was talking about women. I believe. Mm-hmm. We talking about female friendships. I don't even know how we got on height. Mm-hmm. You brought it up. You just probably brought it up. I it was like there was a story on Instagram. Oh yes, I did. Sorry, yes, that's what happened. Instagram <laughs> did it. Sorry, thank you, Jamil. It you was not me. Instagram did it. Instagram did it. <laughs> Instagram had that the post when they talked about the guy being six three and saying he's taller than like ninety something percent uh-huh. of the men. In the, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I just said, happen to say I might be ninety percent, which is the one percentile, not the ninety nine percentile. I said it wrong. Sorry. Somebody corrected me in the comments too. Mm-hmm. Somebody corrected me in the comments too. Mm-hmm. So I had to apologize to myself as well. So I'm in the one percentile. Sorry, I said it wrong. <laughs> But it, it, well, but, but in two seconds, how did I hide you? What do you mean? By pointing out, you the, were go, by, go ahead. By, by pointing out, out what? the fact that my whole thing, time out. Yes. What do you mean? How did how did you hide? What you give him as an apology for? Because allegedly I hide shame. What? No, no, no. I don't that's know what hide shame. I don't know what hide shame. No, because I don't know what hide shame means. So that's why I want the explanation. What do you mean you don't know what hide shame? What does shame mean? When you look down on, you're bashing. But I, I look, I don't look down on purpose. That's the height. Here we go. About? That's not on purpose. Here we are, back to Luther's <laughs> little caveats, <laughs> the little slip, the cracks that we got to deal with when oh, we were talking. God. So, all right, you, allegedly, I, I, I'm not looking, I, don't. I am not looking down on nobody. Mm. All I was saying was that. He just came short of allegedly what the average height is for men. That's all I said. I didn't want to shame him. <laughs> I felt like I was explaining I like, something. I feel like, like you still like shaming. Like, yeah. No, I'm look, not shaming. On. Come on, I'm not nigga. shaming. Yo, I promise you. <laughs> it's like you trying to highlight it, but you 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 talking a little you talking a little crazy. You talking a little crazy. I think all dare men- I say sassy, but you talking a little ooh, crazy. Ooh, ooh. You talking a little so, crazy. Wait, am I the sassy one in this scenario? Uh huh. Uh-huh. All I want to say to all my men out there, all heights are beautiful. Okay? And I apologize to my brother once again. You mean it? Yes, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I apologize. If I offend you in any shape or form, I apologize. Is that better? I think so. Okay, I apologize. I think you learned your lesson now. But please, in the DMs or comments, <laughs> please explain to me what height shaming means because I feel like I'm innocent. But ah! whatever. Back to what we were saying. AKA, my, that apology means nothing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that, Thank that, you for that, that. That, that came from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> but what I was saying now, right? Yes. <laughs> Back to Team Dog Skin. Can I say that? No. But okay. yeah, yes. Now I'm Team Dog Skin, Team Tall Guy. Team Dog Skin, Team Telling Our Story. How about that? Oh, mm-hmm. Sharing our truth. Truth. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what some people call my man party mm-hmm. a sassy man. Mm-hmm. He's a sassy man. <laughs> <laughs> you so, always don't uh, find a way. Yo, nah, so I want to know. Cause I'm. This is just like high shaming. I'm in the. I'm in the dark. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What is a sassy man? Okay, so and all, I can be corrected because I do think that there are multiple interpretations, right? Mm-hmm. To being sassy, I know for me personally, I think a sassy man, okay, is somebody that stays a uh, man that stays in woman's business that has no business being there. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. That's one. I will tell you what a sassy man is not. A man that tells his truth. That is not a sassy man. Two. Okay? And then, let me go to my notes, y'all. Ooh. Gossiping for attention. That's a sassy man. Sassy. Okay? And, last but not least. And this is the one that's going to tussle some fellas. So, walk with me. <laughs> All right? <laughs> walk with me. Stay with me here. <laughs> A sa- we're in an era, right? Of we call into sassy. You know, dating, everybody's saying it's peanut dating pool, mm-hmm. all these things, right? So, a sassy dude, right, is a dude that believes that things should be 50 50. Stay with me. 50 50. 50 50. Mm-hmm. Has an understanding. And this is not going back to like our understanding of being in healthy relationships and knowing okay, that. Okay, 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 it's 50/50, okay, right? okay, okay. Okay. So, like, take you know, you told me for the week on it. All right, cool. Take the so, the 50 50 idea of, like, no, it's 50 50. In, like, a real, like, 50 50, I do. Okay? Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. But still requires females to do gendered norm things. A hundred percent of the time. Mm. You, 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 get okay. what I, you get what I'm okay. going right there, right? Okay. right? Yeah, that bullet missed me. Okay. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Right. I just make it, yeah. So it's kind of like, now nah, it's 50 I'm not doing, oh no, we gonna do, you do this, I do, like, but yet, you still want your girl to cook five days a week. Hmm. How's that 50-50, sir? <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Because the Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to bring pizza. Yep. Okay. Whatever works for you. But you go know what I mean? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, I think that's how I've internalized this little sassy era. Okay. That we're in. Okay. What are your thoughts? Comments, concerns? Um, with the definition you gave, mm-hmm. I could believe, yeah, that, that sounds about sassy to me. <laughs> that sounds sassy to me. Um, hmm. Damn, what would you... Because I feel like I feel like some men get called sassy for bearing their emotions. Boom. Ooh. Glad you said that. Ooh. Wow, you took the words right up. We're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> We're here. Um, no, so I do think that that is a misconception. And this is coming from somebody that I think is like, that's weird, right? For real nigga, yeah. For real. So yeah. like, I just saw an IG post of this girl, right? I don't know if y'all saw it. But she was like, bashing or like she didn't understand this idea of like a man on his wedding day crying. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, so she that's said, what I read. She said that's a red flag. That's so I said She married? No. Are you losing it? Right. Are you even dating? Are you in a healthy but like what what's going on here? So it's like I think I see we that. want yeah it's like we want dudes or we want to females are saying like I want a dude to be open. I want him to share his emotions. But then it's like if he does it too much or like at certain scenarios, it's like, no, nah, you're going to have to chalk it up. Like, you can't pick and choose when you want your man to be, to be vulnerable man. and show his emotions. And I feel like that's the weird territory. And I think by default, they're just like, oh, you sad, so you're doing too much. Or like, that's really mad at you. Like, you have emotions because of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that goes mm-hmm. back to like what we spoke about before about like gender norms and people feeling like you have to act a certain way because you're a man or a woman. That just sounds like manipulation. Mm-hmm. That I don't like- know about manipulation. No, if you tell a man, if you tell a man, you mad about that, and then call him sassy, that's manipulation. Mm. Is that? I see what you're saying. Now. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. manipulation. Now, cause now he mad at you, and to get him to un mad himself, you tell him <laughs> he's sassy, and now mm. he more offended by the sassy Correct. that he probably forgot what he mad at you Correct. about. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Women, women got game too. Go on, mm-hmm. brush your shoulder off. You heard oh. a, a great philosopher say that before. Mm-hmm. No, not a great. Heard a rapper, but yeah. Mm-hmm. He said the same thing. Mm-hmm. But damn, I'm trying. Now you got me thinking. <clears throat> if y'all ever call me sassy, nah, fuck you. Don't write me. See, in the but like I want to, because I want to know if I ever been deemed sassy. Because I am, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. But that's the same. Right? I wear my emotions open. Like, mm-hmm. if I feel, I don't cry. But mm-hmm. if I, I cry when my brother die. But. Mm-hmm. If I feel a way, I'm going to show it. It may not be the most masculine in the moment, but I'm going to show it. And I don't deem that sassy. See? And yeah, and I think, like, you may not be deemed, but I think it goes back to this idea of, like, depending on the scenario, who you're around. Like, there's factors. And I feel like there shouldn't be factors associated with somebody being, showing emotion. That's not fair. You want to paint a scenario for the people? Paint a scenario. Of a sassy man. Of a sassy man? Or have Mm. you ever dealt with a sassy man? No, I think, I think, it's not even a scenario, so like we were saying, like, Party mm-hmm. was deemed sassy, mm-hmm. and I slightly agreed with it, because he was airing out Meg's business. Is it? A, that, it's their business. That, no, 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 no. You can air out your business, your mm-hmm. truth, and mm-hmm. you can address, like, no, I didn't cheat, we fell out, you can even call her out, like, yo, she cheated on me, mm-hmm. that's your truth, that's mm-hmm. fact, mm-hmm. but you, you, you dibbling and dabbling all of a tea that the people don't need to know. Oh, you still hung up on you still what? you still hung up on the body that oh, Come oh on. my god, we gotta let that one go, bro. No, we can't. We gotta let that. That was sassy behavior. I'm trying to think of like I'm like yo, he gave his business. I'm like then I'm like yeah. and that's what I was saying. Like he told you, and it's like all right now y'all y'all hand. Like mm-hmm. he he definitely edited out, and you know so, she's gonna take it. I think it, I think he took it too far. Mm. Not that serious. Like it was like all right, nah, come on now. Wait, because I'm just thinking about me. Like yeah, once it's over. I don't even want to talk about you anymore. <laughs> but we that's, know that's, that's how that, you that's, We know you it, be done. The only difference between that, right? She's famous and says something about him first. I don't care. I no, you can't I can't say that, that yet. You can't say that. But she yet. also had one line. Yeah. You made a whole diss track. Or like you made a whole oh, song. Again, mm. again, again. You can tell your truth, but it was like, would you have ever said this you had a hot if line. she I never dropped a the line? Song. No, Are you gonna quote this this rap a whole time? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who? How do you deem the get back? Mm-hmm. 
You get what I'm saying? How how this level to a get back? Which no, could be a who little makes the level? That's itself. what I'm saying. Who who picks the level where to get back? Clearly, the, pre- the people do. All right. But so you should know, like, also when you take it too far. I don't think it's no such thing. <gasps> so, so I, all right. So I'm gonna give you a plain a plain this day scenario, right? Okay. okay. Somebody steps on your foot mm-hmm. and you duck them in the face. That's fair. That- Okay. Yes or no? I hate. Ah, that's going too far. That, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's so going too far. Like, but that we're not talking. This, about, it's it's level. Stop. Not, it's level. We're talking about. We're not talking about physical violence. No. We're yes. talking. We're talking. Here about, we go. I just gave you a scenario, I, and now you telling me something. So, I just say, I say parties are savior for the people because she was misleading the youth and he just straightened that up. You know what I said. But again, how, how do we don't also, we don't know if that's true or not. That she got a body done? Yeah. He said it, but uh-huh. who's to say that he wasn't saying I despise, who, who's to say he wasn't being who funny, also, but who's to say it's not true? Who, who also know. came out and didn't say nothing about it. Hmm. What is she going to, what? She just went on a whole rant because it's Breakfast Club interview. So you think him saying that she got body done. Okay. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think so. Okay, listen. I lost the accountability argument, so I can't say nothing. Well, I can't say nothing. Why would the, uh, why I should do lie. That's sassy to lie. If he lied about it, that's some sassy. Shit. Sassy. If he <laughs> lied, if we find out he lied about it, sassy as shit. Yes, because yeah, now you got that's gossip. That's that's that's. And look at y'all. Y'all just named another sassy thing. What? Lying. <laughs> lying on like a female. Oh, like, lie, oh, that's okay. very, I'm about to say lying weird. is not sassy. Lying like, on no, a female. like like lying on a female. Lying. Like. Ew. I think, yeah, lying on your penis is sassy. I agree. Lying on your penis is sassy. It's very sassy, though. You know if I mean? you didn't hit, you didn't hit. It's okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's oh, you hit, you know, it was bomb, but you trying to call her corny because she played you? That's, that's sassy. sassy. Yeah. You go know what I'm saying? Now now it's oh, catching on. Now we get okay. it. Now we get it. She say no, you call her B word. That's sassy. Correct. Okay, I get that. You know what I mean? I don't do that. So I get you know, that. sassy can also, you know, it has layers of, you know, you just oh, corny. So you know what I mean? You're not, 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 you Mm-hmm. Unless it's cornflakes, but whatever. Um, mm-hmm. what was that? Huh? Mm-hmm. That was not a great flop. That's really <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> you know, like you. <laughs> I yeah. wanna if you dealt with a sassy man, comment. Oh, I can't wait to hear these. If you dealt, drop your sassy story. I wanna know. Yes, give us sassy Please. story, sassy scenario, so Please. we could educate Lou more and Mills about what a sassy man is. Cause Jay got. That shit on the head. I, I, I assume so. We want to learn more. Please tell yeah. us more about this sassy man. And like I told y'all last week on the homie cast, yeah. Jade will start reading comments. Yeah. You know? So. I will. Please tap in. She wants, she wants her shit. But I personally like, per, I like personal stories. I like just to really get to people's tea. Yeah. She so wants her. Tell your tea. You know what I'm saying? Just can't, can't, leave names on, but tell your tea. You can't call it Jade and Giggles because that's stolen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it sassy if a dude want flowers? Oh. That is sassy. Wait, from the woman? Yeah. I'm saying sure. yes. I'm sorry. That's sassy. See, I'm that's sassy. I think that's sexist. Yeah. What if he really likes flowers? And sexist of, and sassy are yeah, they're not are. the same. How the fuck not? You, sassy and sexist mm-hmm. are not the same. No. You a dude called, that's a little bit more feminine than he is masculine or like... Is that that more sassy? Feminine? That's what I'm saying. I didn't that's say... What you're, that's I what that was here. I, I did not say... Nothing. So the dude gets a manicure is that... Is that um, no, it's not the same. Getting a manicure and asking a woman for flowers is not in the same boat. What the fuck? Not asking a woman it's not the same thing. Not asking. But accepting a woman, accepting, accepting flowers from a woman. All right. If she bring you flowers randomly, yes. Yes what? Yes, that's, that's fine. Okay. If you ask for the flowers, that's sassy. That's what I would say. If yeah, you yeah. ask for flowers asking from a woman, flowers, that's yeah, sassy. That's yeah, that's sassy. Yeah, that's sassy. Yeah, that's sassy. Who only asked for flowers? That's why I was confused. If you just get random flowers, that's cool. You but want you want would be getting those flowers because she knows you like flowers. Usually, is what I'm saying. Uh, so like, I like to kind of like. Is that sassy because you know he likes flowers, and you get them? I wouldn't know. I never got flowers. Yeah, I never. Now, got flowers. I'm lying. Never. I got flowers in junior high school. I'm lying. I got flowers in junior high school. Was it? Oh, candy. I don't remember. Who cares? But you know, a little teddy bear. You know, these are things that we. You know, but I don't think. But I'm like, I'm thinking about it like, cause you know, dudes be forming. Mm-hmm. They be what? Forming, like, you know what I'm saying, and like be planting shit. Mm-hmm. So like flowers. Oh, cool. gardening. I'm yeah, like, yeah, farming, yeah, fuck my, my head up. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gar- gardening. And that. So it's like, <coughs> flowers, you. would that really be considered a, a sassy situation? No, if it's a surprise, mm-hmm. it's cute. It's a kind gesture. If, but if mm-hmm. I be like, yo, baby, I want flowers, that's sassy. Hmm. And I'm saying sassy is just because you, if you are a masculine man and you give a female traits, a woman's going to call you sassy. And that's not sexist? 
I agree with that. I'm saying <laughs> so they will call you that, but that's not really what sassy is. That's just a man being a metro. That's but a you, totally different word. A metro card? No, nah, but the thing about it is, because like I've like I've never witnessed like an OD romantic woman. Mm. You know, well, wait, so, it depends on what do you consider romantic? Because women, the way women romance men is different than men romance women. Well, the answer that, ask, answer that question: How do women romance men? You about to get us? Oh, we gonna get? We can get the. No, I'm just saying, we can get no. It's, it's, I, it fit with the next that's topic. A good, that's still, a good. Uh, that's a good. fit with the next good. topic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I didn't take it rid of it. It fits with the next topic. Okay. That's all yeah. I'm saying. We get it goes right ahead with the next topic. Yeah, just remember it. No, it's, we about to. No, start. I'm saying just remember it. You know, I can't be out here being the voice for the people. Them, so I could just you know. Be <sighs> me. So, table that because it goes into our next topic. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that. You got to be my new best female friend. I know that's right. You know, we take applications. Let's see. <laughs> Hold on, because I don't like sharing too much. I'm like, I'm like the girls. I, that's my best friend. What you talking about? She, like, oh, you said last week. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> now that's sassy. That. Now that's sassy. <laughs> <laughs> now we're about to roll. I already know where this is about to go. No, no, no. This is good. I think this is fun. All right. <laughs> so we're in a room. Mm-hmm. Where a long distance relationship turned to marriage, mm-hmm. so I wanted to have a conversation about long distance relationships slash dating. Mm-hmm. And since you are the goat in the room, do you want to take off? Because I want to know like the pluses and minus of mm-hmm. long distance relationships or long distance dating. Let's not even go relationship, just dating. We don't because mm-hmm. you have you went dating relationship. Living marriage, you went the whole. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Not to put your business out there, but we love CT, so. Yes, um, I think long distance dating only works when two people are committed to doing the work. Mm-hmm. So, like, you have to know that you're gonna have to sacrifice like weekends or like time that maybe you would have allotted to hang out with friends or family because you want to make sure you're building something that's like substantial and important, right? So if you know you like dating, I feel like if you're not dating with intention, in my opinion, I don't see why you would want to do long distance dating because it takes so much work. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like why put in so much work if it's not going to be meaningful? Like just stay in her for that. Like, you know what I mean? Date people that <laughs> you meet. Shout out to her like, rat. Oh, you know what I mean? That's Date people that you see on the street. <laughs> I think oh, it doesn't make, right. it doesn't make sense, Right. Um, I do think, though, like, with the dating pool now, it's important that you get out of where you're at. The people. The pe- yeah, it's like, it's it's not making sense to me. And I feel like people feel like because we're older, they don't want to long distance date, which I mm. think is interesting. That's weird. It's so, like backwards. Yeah, yeah like, I have... You got more freedom now. Yeah, it's like I have a lot of friends that I'm yeah. like, yo, like, you're not meeting anybody here. Like, why wouldn't you try to, like, maybe meet somebody in D.C. or somewhere and they're like, yeah, no, like, that's going to be too much work. Like, I want the person to be here. Nobody it's easy. Love. And that gets to my point. You don't really want what it is that you're asking for. Because you're not trying to do the work. You're not trying to figure it out. And you're not going to be long distance forever. Like, I don't get it. And I want to say, y'all know, uh, what's her name? Who's the lady that's her husband? Y'all saw that on Instagram? She and her husband, they're married. And they just moved in together. Yes. Um, she lives in Cali. He lives. He's was like that a. Cheryl Lee Ralph? Yes, was it Cheryl Lee Ralph? Yeah, I think that's Cheryl Lee Ralph. She lives in Cali. She's an actress and all these things, and she's married to like somebody in office or like in politics. Uh-huh. And he lives in Philly. Mm-hmm. They've been married for like years, and, they just... and they've been like, and that's by coastal at that. And then she's just now uprooting and about to move to Philly. So you telling me mm-hmm. that you can't make it a little two hour drive? Maybe a little four-hour flight, a little situation. I think it has a lot of pros. And I know somebody, for me, I don't want somebody up underneath me all the time. Yeah, we know. Play it, it, worked, it worked perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? It worked perfect for me. It worked out for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just enough. But then there's times where, like, you leave them and then you get, like, sad. really, really sad. Yeah. I like the fact you didn't have no money. You didn't really have no money. I like that. It made me person. I, Other than if you lazy, I think don't do sad, it. I, I don't think a, a sacrifice is a minus, but I do think like 
it could be Dina's and mine is because you have to sacrifice like your personal life. Anything you want, you got to work for. I Relationship, do. money, friendship, anything you want in this world, no matter what you think, you got to work for it. So, I like, I'm like I said, I'm a positive person for the most part when, other than when I'm high shaving. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you had, like, I think people you might... You that wasn't necessary. You just it had to get that in there, right? You just knew that wasn't necessary. <laughs> That wasn't necessary. Mom. I do it for the people, though, man. <laughs> Shout out to O3 heads. But I never... Have you ever been in a... I'd like fake long... If you want to count the situation when you was in school, that was like probably mm. the only like long distance day and I mm-hmm. did. Kind of, sort of. Mm-hmm. I had like a joint and a lot too, but that's kind of... Mm-hmm. That was an hour drive. That's long distance to me. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't a relationship. Yeah, I took that drive with you. Yeah, oh, but I say not quite, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was long distance. Nah, it's an hour. On a bad day, hour and a half, boy. Uh, okay, alright. But, so, I never, yeah, obviously, neither one of them turned into nothing, but, um, it was me, for me, I knew, I was young, like you said, I was younger, mm-hmm. and I think I was just having fun. I, like, I, I, we, like, we know, the one that, I did end up, I liked the one at your school for a little bit, and then mm-hmm. that shit was short lived, cause, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I did, but I don't think it would have panned out to be anything because we had the direction of my life. So I get in the mm-hmm. sense of you got to be able, willing to do the work and things like that. I, it was fun while it lasted, but then it still would have, even if it did manifest the sun, it still would have been long distance because even after that, it's still two different states. True. So I was like, me personally, not easier to find somebody here. I just know yeah. if it got to be somebody here, like you said, I got to be willing to put the work in. Yeah, and before I forget, of course, you have to trust the person. Don't do long distance if you're going to be blowing that person up. What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Like, don't be weird. Like, come on now. Like, because what's really about to happen? What you about to pull up for hours? It's going to take you four hours to drive. Like, we got to stop. We got to stop the nonsense. We got to stop the nonsense. We got to stop the nonsense. Um, so you have to trust the person. Uh, you have anything to say about long distance dating in a relationship, bro? I can't talk right now. <laughs> have oh yeah. Would you be open to it? Yeah, I'll, I'll be like at this point in time, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I did the um mm-hmm. the what, what was it? The date? No, mm-hmm. oh, the, you know what I'm saying? Oh match with O three, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just uh it's just um, you know, mm-hmm. stuff on the the board. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So long distance it sounds you know what I mean? You just checking the boxes. You like, ooh, try this. Yeah. Ooh, next on this. I know that's right. Yeah. Just and then, you know who knows? It might work. Help. It hey, work. listen, it's fun. It might not. It give you, yeah. but in even to piggyback off of that, the space at the beginning is fun. Because mm-hmm. you like to miss somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, mm-hmm. should I be happy when I used to go to work and come? I get mm-hmm. to miss. Like, you mm-hmm. get to miss your person sometimes. Yeah. And absent make the heart grow fonder. Mm-hmm. And I think that. It'd be different. Cause I never miss nobody. Like that's what I'm saying. I was about to get that. I feel like that makes you, you. But I also feel like you can't be no. You can't be weak though. No. Cause then mm-hmm. if you like are missing, uh, mm-hmm. then it's like that missing somebody turns to like like anger. Like you know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. you can't see them. Like if, then it gets like or sassy. Like. Yeah. I mean, you complain. I think, I think it just gets to anger. Like you know busy. what I mean? Like why can't we? Oh, oh, like, no, like, be... I want to do it now. Like, you got what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, like, your communication gets a little muddled. But you got to be, you got to you gotta have something going for yourself. Because I think, like, if it's somebody mm. that's, you know what I mean? That's a good a point, bum. too. You, yeah. There you go. I hope you're a bum bitch. Yeah, say mm-hmm. it. I got you, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, look, uh, I'm a bum nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I know you chase women, not niggas. That's why I said mm-hmm. it that way. No, I'm just saying guys. both ways. You know what I'm oh, saying? I, you know I hate a bitch. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I have, a like, a work colleague. You know what I mean? He's long distance. Uh, with his partner, like he lives here and his partner lives in Atlanta, and like mm, that's they talk a lot, like yeah, but like he comes up for like long periods of time, maybe like four days at a time, because his partner like works um, from home. Oh, that's then cool. shout out to Stableton, like you know what I mean? She met somebody so funny too, like kind of a similar story, like at a wedding they hit it off, but he lived in Texas. She lived here. We learned. she ended up moving to Texas, like you know what I mean? Things now happen. Now when you say Stableton, oh, our cool. number one fan. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Not that one. Okay, it's two things. Then I'm one fan, yes. She, the last name profession. Yes, yeah. Wait, oh, Shout that's out. crazy. That brings me to another question. Yeah. What are things to do mm-hmm. with your long distance partner? 
Or why you're not long distance dating? What are things y'all can like ideas and things that you what did you do? Forget what did you know what's you so do? crazy? We do? we had a commitment. It, it's gonna sound crazy though. And I mean, this ain't for everybody. We spoke every we spoke every night. Mm-hmm. So we fell asleep on the phone every, like we FaceTimed every single night. Regardless if he went out, regardless if I went out. Like we never like we always spoke. Like we went to bed with each other every night. And like during the day when we had downtimes, like whether if he was driving or I was driving and things of that nature. And this is like I think when I was like getting my masters too. So it was like easier, like I would come on my way to class, like he would call me on his way to work. Like, you know what I mean? Like he used to work at um at like Frito. So he used to wake up really early. So sometimes I was make sacrifice, I set my alarm to make sure like I was up. Like, you know what I mean? Like just little things that we would try to do. And then, like, we used to plan, like, really fun activities mm-hmm. when we got together. So, it was no, oh, I haven't seen you in two weeks. We about to be in the house all day. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, like, there was moments for that. But, like, initially when we started, we was at the government. Like, we were, we were doing the things. You know what I mean? Like, we were dating, dating, which I think was also really cool. And it also helps. I feel like long distance... Oddly, to me, it speeds up your relationship. I think so. I agree. It's yeah, not it speeds up. So I felt like we were together for way longer than what we actually were. Because y'all was living life. Yeah. Y'all wasn't stagnant. No. I think being in the same state or borough, even in the same house, that's not, you can get stagnant. The long I distance agree. might keep it fresher for yeah. a while, even though it could put the strain on it. It does come with its upsides in that sense. Cause I guess you get more creative in that, you in do. that sense. Because mm-hmm. yeah. it's mm-hmm. like, and depending on where they are, mm-hmm. like, with me, I want to discover, like, you know. Yeah, you could do all the tourist shit. That's exactly what I was going to do. Mm-hmm. What's going on over there? When you switch up, you come here, we do all the tourist shit. I right. like doing the regular. So right. it's new to me, kind of, because mm-hmm. I don't do this shit anyway. Right. And then it's new to you because you ain't never been here. And then when I go to your city, yeah. you show me the tourist and shit. You did. Just don't take me to the restaurant. You should take your niggas. That's a lot, man. It's like with my sister and, and her fiance. They <laughs> long distance. He's mm-hmm. in Alabama. And, uh, Ooh, no, that's far. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. That's so, like, when he came out here, like, Yo, he swept her off her feet. Like, yeah, that's far. See? Bro. Shit that he was doing, like, I'm still, like, trying to take notes and shit. Like, but that's what I'm I saying. And I'm here. Like, shit that he was doing, I'm like, damn, I ain't never did that. That's what I'm saying. And people got to see the signs, yo. Like, you can't let distance be like, oh, no, I can't. I can't do it. Like, it was fun. Like, that, it was fun while I lasted. Like, oh, it was cool. Like, no. Like, if you really get butterfly, or somebody really, like, Sweep you off your feet. Sweep you off your feet or like does the things that have you like, oh wow, like you need to really tap into that to see what it what it is, I think. And the local For talent sure. is ran through, guys. I'm just saying. A lot of the local talent mm-hmm. is I don't know personally, but I heard stories and shit like that. <coughs> the local talent, you know, yeah. And even if the foreign or the out of state is ran through, you won't know. So it's even better. You won't know. You, That's feel true. you won't you know. Won't know. Of, I yeah. think that helps it too. Not to be an asshole. I think not being able to know mm-hmm. their history where they can lie to you on that aspect or keep it not lie, mm-hmm. omit it, or keep it away from you because it's not important to me. I don't care about your mm-hmm. lie. Oh, you said the local. I'm sorry. You said the local. What is the local work is ran through? Oh, like so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all be trying. I be trying to. See, this is why I get called a high shamer. When I try to say things in code, y'all try to clean it up. I don't get it. I didn't know what you meant. I know what you said. I know, but I, I didn't try to no go. But yeah, so so you get the out of town. And vice versa, send okay. some of the local work out of town. They could get be happy. You know what I'm saying? So don't be opposed to like, I understand the I'm congestion fee is coming and shit like that or whatever the case may be. But yeah. And it, honestly, take that leap too. Like if it's going well and things are going well, you have nothing holding you back. Move, move. That's I was gonna say. That is so gonna be my word of advice. You, move. How do you get? That's like, all right. So how do you get to that stage? That's exactly where I want to go to, because mm-hmm. I know y'all had to make that decision and y'all mm-hmm. chose here, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember you so stupid, mm-hmm. but <laughs> no, nah, that was a hard one. Cause I actually, contrary to probably belief, I was looking to move there. Cause he was set up good. I First, he was yeah, really he set up, set up really good. good there, yeah. So, but like at that time, it was just really hard to find a job in education per se. Mm. So it was I don't know, it was it was hard and then it just was easier for him just to get a transfer here. But then if you know me, you know I was also very weird about living with somebody. That's mm. when I was like I don't want to say fake traditional, but Wait like up. very much like I don't 
really want to deliver someone if I marry them. Mm-hmm. Not to be funny, but I just, I had no desire to. So, I had to talk through it with a couple people. Like, you going to have somebody, a whole dude move here and you're not going to live with him? In New York. Yes. Oh, I didn't and know you were going to go there. Yes. Pay and rent. These are the type like, of fucking conversations we had. And I was just like, uh, I'm Mrs. Home. Like, what we not? And then I was like, you know, I had to take him to my house. Like, they needed to be my mom and my dad and... Be like, oh, is it? Well, I don't know, crazy. like low key permission. Like, is it cool to like live with him at my big age? But mm-hmm. I still went home just to like, I don't know, courtesy West Indian. Well, you're weird. Your mother and father. That's what we raised. Two family household plays a big part in that shit. It you was, that. yeah. You gotta meet my sister because y'all both Pisces. It's probably a Pisces. We're the same person, probably. Yeah, but you should have your story is kind of is kind of the same. See, look at he that. In, yeah, he, he moved down here. That's why well, I he was going to school out here, so it's like it's kind of this kind of thing. I called yeah. it when I said I was like, you know, y'all get married, right? Mm-hmm. I just want my credit. Sorry, you know, I like my. You credit. always want your. I credit. always want my credit. I called the CT, my guy. I fell in love with CT too, man. My guy, fuck yes. with CT, you know that. Yeah. But yeah, so I so, think that's important. So I yeah, think we knew like how far. That's what I'm saying. Like we were two years. Okay. We were two years in. We were low distance for two strong years, and it was two strong years. So we were like, yeah, we need to like. Figure this out. Like, we really know. We were both on a page of, like, we were already talking about marriage and, like, making that leap. Mm-hmm. So, I was just like, all right, well, we got to figure it out. And I was trying to, you know, get a job and it wasn't working. So, I was like, well, can you try to get a transfer? Love you, love. Won't he do it? Happy to Won't he do it? Because I think life would have been totally different if I, like, moved. What? I if I would have moved to D.C. Yeah, if I would have moved to D.C., yeah, it would have it been a little I wouldn't different. be the only one. But, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be the only person crying. Yeah. But, yeah. But so, I don't regret us moving in. Even though I was very hesitant and I didn't want to, I do think it was a good thing. I think, it, I, I don't, I honestly, I, I'm not married yet. I'm engaged. But I honestly don't think you should marry nobody if y'all don't live together first. See, I didn't. I, I never I felt honestly, like that. I, honestly, I still don't. I still like you know think it's cool if people don't want to move in together until you gotta married, know. But... You gotta know them habits, y'all. Yeah. You gotta know. Them, it's true. You gotta know them habits, bro. Like mm-hmm. I think that's the because like the maintenance that men and women because in this era both of us both of them go through the mm-hmm. maintenance that you go through in your house can be extreme. I agree. And. It could look kind of crazy to somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get married and then find that out later. Mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. rather mm-hmm. know the nuances of the shit yeah. you do, the weird stuff you like to go yeah. through. I that's just me personally. Yeah. Or whatever. Then my last question was, was it worth it? But y'all got married, so yeah, it was. It, it was, was worth for it. sure. Yeah. So that's dope. We had way more ups than we did, Darren. Now you could bring back what you were saying. I mean, you say he's gonna remember. You know medicinals is my best friend. And you know, I wasn't gonna remember. No, so that's why I said that. you were bring it back to us. I just said it fit with the topic. I said it fit with the topic. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I mean really... the question was was uh was getting your your man flowers, is that um is that sassy? No, no, no. It was after no, that. that. was, it was after that. that. It was after that. You said you asked another question after that. I did? Yeah. yeah. See, look, not even look, you be on the medicinal. Well, I'll you know, the next one. Uh, I, I, I didn't remember. No, I didn't say I was gonna remember. I said save it for this. I said it goes with this topic. No, we got camera. That's how we got camera. This how they called me no, shaming last no, no, time. Look, no, no. Hey, you tried to no, Oh yeah, yeah. I, I totally forgot that one. Yeah. Oh, you? I thought you. I thought it came back. No, no. Me. I remember that there was another question <laughs> that I asked, but I don't remember. Got what him. <laughs> it was a good question too. I your feet. I show your feet. So anybody yeah. that's looking to journey into a long distance relationship, give it a try. What the fuck you got to lose? Dive in. Exactly. You ain't got nothing to lose. You only got a lesson to gain. And remember, you have to put the work in. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen overnight. I know mm-hmm. Instagram make it seem like it's going to take six months to two months. Y'all go full of love. I know that was backwards. Leave me alone. But it takes work, yo. Like I, like I said on the homie cast, regardless, we've been together six years consecutively, but I've been working on this for almost 20 years mm-hmm. to get where I'm at mm-hmm. today. So I was fortunate enough to fuck up and Mm-hmm. Be get bad. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's that fortunate, but I'm also willing to do the work today. Still, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I'm still putting the work. Like it. you heard my son. Like it's my first song. A great philosopher. You heard. You heard. You heard. No. Oh shit! Before we get into the next topic, yeah. how the fuck I forget? Happy birthday to my man Jamie Fox, man. That's my favorite Yay! actor, bro. How I forget about Jamie Fox? That's the most talented actor in the world. Or me? I don't care. Nobody can. Nobody can tell me anything different. He yeah. had a couple of duds lately, but I don't care about that. 
Oh wow. How many? He's I, very versatile. Like, that's I'm what I mean. That's what I mean. No, no, no. Denzel can't do stand up. Oh. Uh, most versatile, I'll give you that. That's what I said. I think so. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what and I said. And your favorite. No, no, no. He's not favorite. Yeah, I get you. Denzel can't sing. Okay. Blame it on the... Ah, That's ah, an ah, entertainer. Ah, 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 ah. That's what I said. Most, and, and then he no, can... No, no, no. Acting is acting. You're talking about entertainer. He's the most adult, but he can sing in a movie. He played Ray Charles. That's yeah. acting. No, let's... Jamie? Jamie? I love you. We love we you. We love you. We love you here. We yeah. love you here. Ah. And glad that you're... I hate it here. <laughs> 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 This is another underrated show. I love Jamie, show. man. I love Jamie. Oh, I have a good one. We're going to get into Jamie. A good top three. Okay. Jamie, because Jamie Foxx, that's the best black show. All right, whatever. We're not going to do that. Cause niggas be like, Jamie Foxx. I'm like, ah! Nah, I was, nah, thinking about was, like a sitcom, like a best. It was good. It was good. Like sitcom, like oh, I think yeah, it would be a good me. top nah, three. Oh, yeah, they're going to kill me. Nah, I think that would be a good top three. But we yeah. talked about long distance relationships. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting no help mine. I did that all in my life. No, that's all you, because you... And I was a wingman that day. Ooh. Ooh. See what I did there? Yeah. So? Yeah. I want to talk about... I think we sit in that... I think we are, like, <laughs> two of the best wing... Men, yeah, we're wing the same women. person when it comes to, be like, winging. Like, yo, like... <clears throat> I done gave some assists. I'm like, John Stockton in this bitch. You heard mm. me? Nigga. Like... Mm. So, we've mm. been... Putting this off for a while anyway, so I was like, let's have some fun. Um, she thinks she's Cupid, but that's a whole different scenario from her wing woman scenario. First of all, I am Cupid. Her wing People was... are just shallow. I wanted to make that very, very clear. I am Cupid. People are just shallow. I'm very well at. I think. Okay. No, because you're Cupid. You're cu- for personality for yeah, the yeah, but that's not the world we live in. That's that's above me, and this is why people still say that's not the way. Ah! Like, there goes that. I understand, no, because personality should be numero. Mm-hmm. But before before I even get in that, yeah, what would, what is a wing person? Like, I don't want to say men or women because mm-hmm. I think that gets flagged. But on mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 a wing person is somebody that is able to support and assist you in meeting somebody. JJ Dictionary. I like that. That was dope. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think so. I agree. I would say that. I, I think like, I'm a, I think I'm a good I'm a, I'm a good wingman. We gonna find out. We got more questions. Hold on. Mm. We're gonna get to that. Mm-hmm. I, we gonna get to that. I haven't been in this scenario because I've been taking the whole time we've been running around, so I don't I mm. can't tell. I won't know personally, so I can't speak. Mm-hmm. But I when Sean come around, I gotta have y'all to run around. That'd be that'd be fun. Mm. The boss is running around the town, go crazy. I like that. But um yeah, I also, like, I think, I don't know if women got to go through that as well. Before we, I think also being a good wingman is knowing when you got to take the L. Mm-hmm. Knowing when you got to take one for the team. Mm-hmm. You might have to take the big one. You might mm-hmm. have to take the ugly one. You might just have to take the one nobody wants. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that, I think that what defers me. That's why I'm up here as a wingman. Because I'll take the L because I know I'm going to get my get back. Same. Because so, I like to chat with anybody. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. I talk to somebody. Take, you just mean just to to, to entertain like yeah. conversational. Yeah, it depends. I don't, That's, to, I don't have to kill. It depends on the scenario now. Mm-hmm. That's why I said. Now, now it's you're a, getting into testy waters, but yeah. All right, so we don't. That, I think that might. I mean, I don't want to say that's a. That's winging. A dude or a female. No, 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 no. If you in the now, crib, now, 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 you add into my definition, and it was a. No, I'm just saying, if you in the crib, right? I didn't add no type of behaviors. I'm, I, we gotta we gotta dive into the topic. Okay, that's fair. If we if you um if you in the crib on a three man, it's a three on three, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a three on three. Right? It's a three on three, right? Yes, yes. Right? Everybody got their own room. Let's not be nasty now. Okay. So it's a three man mission, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You there, you the new one. Yeah. You don't know what's coming. Uh-huh. The other two already know. Uh, they like, oh, I got a friend, final friend. You know the last. Y'all ever been in the in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Two minutes left. Yes. All right, you uh-huh. got to fight. And then she come. Uh-huh. And she not. Mm. Yeah, she not giving. You know, she not no, giving. No, no, no. She not doing it for you. Uh-huh. But the, 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 the girls is like, if my homegirl ain't going to have no fun, nobody having no fun. Oh, one of those. One, that's what I'm saying. What you doing? But that's such a very That's a young. Specific. If that's not. 
Yeah, if like at our big age, I don't yeah, think that I'll happens. You mean like back in the day and yeah. like a girl? I can't mm. contest to. There if, you go. I can't speak today if three men just. Three men weaves are still going on. Okay, well, I can speak point. of being in a three man weave where you had to take that. Yes, I can't speak of being in a three man weave. Had to take that. Okay, back in my day. Yes. And the, well, right. if it's today, today, I'm not killing. I think that's a good point. I'm not touching. I wouldn't either. I'm not, I'm in not, today's yeah. time, I'm not. Nah, I'm not doing that. You married? I would have a I'm conversation. I'm saying if I wasn't married, this is just being transparent. If I okay. wasn't married and I was single and like if I'm out with my girl, home if girl, if your home girl didn't get her boots knocked off in six months, you're not gonna take that out for her. What does her boots have again? I don't got to do with me. If, Why if, do I do that? If you if her his man not getting it, she not getting it. That's the scenario I painted. If you don't bone the friend, nobody gets nothing. That's the scenario. But I, I think painted. that's what like I, what, what if she what and the dude do? are 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 fine doing the thing? Why would my friend feel like oh no? Dear, oh, you mean like if she's this with is the like, if you don't yes. do it, I'm not gonna yes, do it. This is this, I, I see. I'm not saying like, that if you don't do it, you're not gonna do it. I, I, okay, okay. Come on, don't educate us. We okay, I said. My bad. My it's bad. a scenario okay. now. It's, no... if it's your friend that's, yeah, it's just, that's this... saying, like, I'm not going to do something no, no, no. if you don't do something. No, it's, yeah, your friend not, no, no, not even that. Your friend not getting nothing. Your friend want it. Yeah. And the friend is saying, I'm not going to bone you unless my man good to your friend. And your homegirl cunning you. Because remember, you wingman for your homegirl. Your homegirl, hey, can you hold me down? You get what I'm saying now? If my man come to me, mm-hmm. and as long as it's clean, I don't do no diseases. But <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do good conversation. So I will. <laughs> Mills is getting I out will... of. Now you gotta break down the scenario to me. All right. I, I need to make some follow. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, it's a three or three. Okay. Right. Uh huh. We gonna. I'm gonna use me, baby. This is not real. Mm. Entertainment purposes only. We get it. No, you don't be home. <laughs> so like I was saying, now, nah, right? It's a three man weave. Uh huh. My man's and them got the three man weave. It was supposed to be. All right, let's be like this. Back it up. It's a two man weave. <laughs> now they get the call. Yo, my home girl with me. Y'all got somebody for my home girl. Okay. Now yeah. they like, brr, brr, what you doing? Right. Like she in the crib. Yo, we got something for you. Pull up. Yes. Boom. Now we get to this spot. Mm-hmm. I'm open. I'm yeah. like, all right, whatever. Ding dong. They come. Pull up. Cool. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yikes. <laughs> you feel me? Right. So that's the order yeah. how they come in the spot. You feel me? <laughs> yes. Now, I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. Yo, who for me? Yes. They like, yikes. Yes. <laughs> you feel me? Yes. So yes. now I'm like, nah. You yes. feel me? Uh-huh. But they like, yo, bro, if you don't knock this off, none of us get nothing. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, y'all niggas owe me, bro. Huh. That's what I mean. That's mm-hmm. what I mean. Now, reverse for you, however you want to put it. But the same scenario, like, the girls ain't boning unless all of them get a dick down. Interesting. Yeah, it's a scenario, not real life. Just a scenario. That's what I'm saying. Don't take it just in that scenario. What you do? Either you do it or you not. It don't matter. I just want to know what you're doing. Nah, I can't do that. Uh, respectable. That's why I'm numero uno wingman. That's why I'm, yeah. Right, not no like, more. I gotta, but my whole thing is, I gotta catch your body to be a wing? That women different. I don't know. But that's I don't, a, don't, I don't think, I, don't think some, I haven't been in that scenario for the women. Yeah, but I, I feel like yeah, scenario, maybe you know? I'm just so confused as to why. Cause it, it like low key, it's giving like pimp. Like I'm pimping out my friend. The homegirl is pimping. Both people. That's what I'm saying. Both people are, both people are getting pimped out by like, the friend. Like why am I? Yeah, like why? Both, why? Why? Sure, why we, why yikes! We probably out? don't get nothing on the regular. Hold on, hold on. But my whole thing is yikes is still not like why yikes can't just get like rubbed on. You know what I'm saying like why? Like if we we vibe, we connecting. My only job was to bring you somebody. What you want that somebody do has nothing to do with me. Right. You get what I'm saying? That's I what I'm trying it. to like. I respect it. This is just extreme. Like I'm going to do all the like things, said, but that's what we got to I got a good conversation for yikes. That's you what, what I'm saying? saying. I'm going to take it for a walk. I'm like, You get what I'm saying? We can even go on a ball walk. Word. You know have what I mean? I take you on a drive, baby. Have you we smoked an air outside? We could do some things it's... on the balcony. But I've been there. I haven't been that scenario no more. But I've been in the scenario where you had to talk to yikes. Yes. Yeah, no, the talking yeah, talking to, to, the having to quote on take out for the friend or the homie that wasn't really the most, you know, know, appealing. Maybe that conversation might lead to something, and you, you know what I mean? Know. It could be yikes. I might, really. I might find out that damn yikes is actually yikes might popular. have the yikes might yikes yikes might become the homie. You she never might be know. A eater too, she might be eater. Yikes might become homie. Yes. But like this whole habit so to like catch it? a body, I don't, that's yeah. not sitting well with my spirit. Yeah, I get, listen, I respect yeah, that's it. This not is just a whack, listen. So now the other. No, I'm different. I can't, like, if it's yikes, yikes, like. Yeah, it's not sitting well with my spirit. 
So I the other the other avenue I'm asking. I get up, but I don't know if I'm gonna get out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, just kill him for a minute and be like, oh, no. nothing happened. Yes. The other side of a wingman, a wing woman, and a wingman is also mm. how much how much chatting do you do for them? Like, cause sometimes as a wing person, you gotta be the opener. How much chatting do you do for them before they gotta come in and do it themselves? You get what I'm asking you? Yeah. Like you go up to the person and you start chatting them up. Yeah. For them, with how how long until they gotta come and take over? Let me tell you this right now. Mm-hmm. It's very important, and I feel like this is where it it gets weird, and then people end up being like, "Oh, you're not in love with you." Oh. Yes, in love. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I was feeling you. Not you. okay. No, that, as that, soon that, that as you approach happen. the target. You make it very clear that it is not for you. I repeat, as soon as you approach the target, you have to make it clear that this is not for you. You see my wings, nigga? Yeah. (laughs) They fly high, okay? I am not over here because I want the parts. I'm over here for my man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the mail carrier. (laughs) That's That's it. it. (laughs) That is it. Okay. I guess it's different for female and male. Nah, it's not. Nah, I don't no, know. no, no, nah, same because shit. I, no, because nah, if you're approaching somebody on some here yeah, smooth talk, first of all, we both have very big personalities. Yes. So we both can go to somebody and they'll catch the vibe or misread that we're flirting and we're not. Mm-hmm. It's just because we're social, mm-hmm. we're personable. Mm-hmm. So if we go in just being like, "Hey, how you doing? How's your night?" Like da da da. Already, they're gonna be like, "Okay." Yeah. All right. And the way you do it, because that's why you that's why you're sent to open, because you know how to open. Exactly. Your man might know how to close. Exactly. He may not know how to open. Exactly. But so if I'm opening, being myself, you may never get to close. You get what I'm saying? You may never get to close. So I need to be very clear yeah. on on what the target is, and the target needs to know that this is not for me. Or it might it might hit four thirty in the morning. I'm a close. But yeah. <laughs> oh. <I'm joking. laughs> now, it, it, it happened to me like. I was open, opening for, yeah. my, for my mans. Mm-hmm. So it was a shorty. Mm-hmm. Went up to her like, yo, hey, what's up? Whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. You know, how y'all doing? You know, whatever. And it kind of felt like she was feeling me. But I was like, hold up. My man's right there. See, you too long. Yeah, see? That's, now, back, too long. now that's, the, that's the concept. That's literally that's what exactly we're saying. Talking about. You took way too long. You got to approach the target from jump. Let them know your intentions. But I stepped rip. back. And I was like, yo, my man's right. Come no, on. no, no. Too, no, too no. late. Because now you already opened up the floodgates to her being like, dang, I thought it was you. I would prefer to be you. Like, we wasn't going to get there. Like, if, if I come in, I'm like, hey, how you doing? So I'm here with my homegirl. She saw your car. You see how I just, do, 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 you ain't even, you blink twice. Like, that's, that's it. it. Right. That's if you're it. like, oh, oh, all right. Well, what's up with you? And I Never stood, mind, have a good and night. I, and I like, stood, there's nothing else for And I stood back and I was like, and my man came through. I'm like, yo, what's up? You Like, y'all good? He was like, nah, she trying to do that. Yeah, because it's like, too late. Yeah, you sold her the wrong item, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you sold her the wrong see, item. See, but what would you do? See, in that scenario. So this is this is where it gets funny, right? I, I got a date for you to go for. Oh. Yeah. You approach, right? And like we saying, you go over there, target. They know right off the bat, right, what it is. Yeah. But they still then say, nah, but like, like you more my type, you more my vibe. What you doing next? What you doing next? Me first? What you doing next? Then, that, then my man's is my wingman. What you doing next? Depend on who the homie is. So you're, ta- so you're taking it. So you're going to take the joint. What Depend- you doing? Depending on the homie, I'm here. Yeah. So you're you're taking it too? I'm not taking it. I'm going to hit it. I ain't going to take it. I'm going to hit it, bro. He probably can have that, bro. But Y'all ain't right. No, I'm about to have some. Time out, time out. I, hold up, mine is not as grimy. We gonna get back to this. That's great. I'm glad that's great. No, grimy. so it's the same scenario now. Same thing now. <coughs> somebody come open for somebody else. Uh-huh. But in this case, thinking, hold on, hold on, what hold you hold doing? Hold, hold on, let her finish. No, no, hold on. In this uh-huh. case, the case that I'm just, I was just talking about, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, didn't kill. I didn't even. You know what I mean? Well, you ain't go for it. Yeah, well, well, I, I didn't go nah. for it. So, well, but I, but I caught the vibe because you see, they come to me and we was like, you know what I mean. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go for it. What's the scenario? Same now. You come now. Same thing. You open it up for your homegirl, uh-huh. and now son, he give her a little conversation, but then she come back to you like, nah, he wants you. What you doing? Um, if she comes back and to tells me you that he said tell- I want you, what are you okay, doing? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> ask her like. Like, how you feel about that? You cool about that? And she's like, uh, well, I was doing, damn, kind of. 
tired about it. I'm backing off. And she's like, nah, I'm not going, you know, cock mm. block. And I actually find a person attractive, Tracking then it. I'll go for it. Oh, yeah. I, I have to get the green light. If I don't get the green light. <laughs> He- and here we are. I'll, I'll get the go. Yeah, I'm not. I'll, I'm not doing that. Like, as soon as he, yeah, it's quiet. I don't want, yeah, is, I don't want mans on my neck. Like, you know women I mean? is not nobody's property. So, listen, they call me a shamer. I want you to know, women, you are free to do what you, your body, your choice. So, I'm not here to stop nobody from their urges. That's all I want to say. I'm not here. If you have urges, I'm not here to I stop. I should have known this is not what's going <laughs> to happen. I'm just saying, it, I'm just saying, being a wig, but... That's all I'm saying. When you get in to be a wingman, when you get there off rip, you gotta let her or him know this yes. is not for me. Yeah. I am dropping the wing. Correct. Cause like I said, the easy scenario is when it's you in the club and it's three of them and your mans don't know who to approach you and you crack it off. You mm-hmm. the first one to go talk to any one of the girls and then your mans follow mm-hmm. cause now I you distracted, da da da. And Loki, I think that's even better. Like that's say you approach thing. three and you yeah. just kinda like, yo, yo, my I'm here, like my man's he's feeling, you know. And yeah. Or it's like you put it on them too. That's the best. Because how do you, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, over here is like, you know what I mean? Fill my too. men's. Like, that's the question I want to ask. How yeah. do, as a woman, right? How do you feel? We're going to use this big age, right? How would you feel, <laughs> right? If a dude came up for another dude? Because some women don't like that. How would you feel if another dude came, like, yo, my man feeling better? How would you feel at this age and a man doing that for another man? Oh, I wouldn't mind. I think, I think, I wouldn't mind. Okay. But I get how some, some people's women, yeah, minds feel like, see that as, oh, that's uh, corny, and he's, he's like, call it sassy. Yeah, he's sad, like, why you just can't come up to me, like, or whatever. But I think, like, people shy, people's different. People yeah. also, like, nah, have different dating right. experiences. Like, yeah, so not everybody's so right. open to, like, approach people. No, nah, if you play it off right, I think, I think it won't even look like that. Cause like if you like nah, there's some girls I would totally shut it down and be nah, very like. Nah, if it's like, like if it's like you and your homegirls and like I got my homeboys and we come in as like coming. Well, that's what you said with the three or three, but I'm yeah. saying no, that, I'm not talking about that. Like, I'm one talking about one coming up when to you come one up to her and be like, yeah. yo, my man, when you go up to her solo and just talk to a chick for your man. Cause most of the time I'm wingman. It, that's like he's coming up to me on your like, behalf. Yeah, I'm like yo, my man, Mills like yo, Mills, da da da, and I'm like, I could either be one or two people. Oh, really? Oh, why he ain't coming to me? Oh, okay, that's cool. Cool. Or like, nigga, nigga what? You yourself? ain't coming up to me. Nigga. Daddy, nah, I'm good off that. I'm nah, good, that's good. corny, but like, what's up? Nigga, you don't got you no know what I mean? Nuts, that's, that's definitely two different so, females. So, that's what like, I was saying, because sure. I like, uh, I don't like. It could be like the, oh, shit, that's shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Either or, either or. That's what I said. That's why I asked that. That nigga? I asked that at this age. I've never been through that neither. I never. Got like a yikes from one of the home, like when Same. I went to go check yeah. for one of the homies. Nobody mm-hmm. ever like wild out none of the homies or said nothing. This was like, but most of my wingman days is me just cracking it off. I just lead the conversation mm-hmm. and the niggas. Do you have a lot of scenarios or situations where they would have preferred you over the man that you were trying to put them onto? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go back in the boat. Hmm. Um. I can't. I can't say yes or no and like give a percentage now. I would say no, the crazy shit, right? It's you believe it or not, I would say the percentage has changed throughout the years. Cause say like Well there's average. Like do you think saying, at, saying, like on average you feel like say, collectively it was less than fifty, around fifty, like I, I I could say fifty fifty. Not to okay, be I say fifty fifty. But I it's more so hindsight because it's like people make decisions on the some like relationships be based on the moment. You True. don't really know people, mm-hmm. and then you get to know somebody, and you like, damn, it's not really my feel. Mm-hmm. Like you said, because look, to- sometimes you just initially like physical attraction is a huge. But fuck physical attraction. We have yeah, strong personalities, and that's not for everybody. True. So our that's personalities sometimes scare people that's away. True. So they think this is not my cup of tea. That's also true. And, but not knowing this is who I am outside in the house, I might be a different person. Mm-hmm. But you didn't take the time to get to know. Not me, this all time. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, me too. But I'm just saying, and it says, I'm just saying, like, so in that sense, it scares people away, yeah. and they may have made a choice. Where, True. but I listen. I tell you, I got, I got an Eskimo family. Like mm-hmm. the gang, the gang like is Eskimo out. Like real shit. I promise you. <laughs> Probably, nah, not me and Sean. But like I got, mm-hmm. I can name a lot of niggas. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I've been in scenarios where, um, like I chose the shorty and that nigga was mad. Like, they was, like, not fucking with them. And then I was, like, I fuck with her. And then they was mad. You get what I'm saying? Mm, like, mm-hmm. they didn't want her. But I was, like, I fuck it. I see what's cracking. And then mm-hmm. they was upset more so than anything. Which I think is weird. Like, you didn't want her. So why you mad? 
niggas. It think, gives haters. They think that they, you know, men arrogant. They think they go always get very it. much arrogant. So it's like, yeah. I'm talking like I'm not arrogant. I'm not arrogant no more. But I was, arrogant. I went through my twenties. I was. Well, we not here talking about me at all. We missed you, Jaden. <laughs> I was just saying the homie <laughs> cast is <laughs> and <laughs> I apologize. Clean it my, up. Clean it up. I apologize clean for my accountability. Up. Clean it up. Clean it up, please. No, clean I want to shout out all the old three heads. I have a lot of homegirls that support me for the show, so I shout out all my homegirls. Mm-hmm. The homies is hated. But all the homegirls that tap, I, like they tap in. Mm-hmm. Head, 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 people getting more engaged. We, we vibing, so fuck that. I mean, 03 has forever. Mm-hmm. But I know people miss this part. Mm-hmm. I know the people that miss this part. Mm-hmm. It's that part of the show where we get that JJ joke. My joke. My joke. My joke. Hey! Chinese joke. You know, I gotta harmonize my shit, you Yo, know? Babyface, sign a nigga. What's crazy, you? Babyface, I wanna do <laughs> What did the lawyer wear to court? Damn, I, I got the last one right, too. I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Um, overalls. Mm-mm. Okay, no. Ready? A lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was something soon. I knew it was something soon. So simple. So simple. So beautiful. <laughs> Yo, I didn't I not care about that. Oh, so simple. So beautiful. I love it. I get it. Uh, yes. So you know, I'm back and I'm better, y'all. I'm back and I'm better. Yes, 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 y'all. Yes. It's the one and only and Virgo okay. gang, you know. Okay. Virgo nation. Yes, Shout right. out my nigga Joey. Okay. When you looking for a new podcast, holler at us. But okay. alright. <sighs> so yeah. welcome back. Thank you. It was great to be back. Not too much on. No, you might have heard my little, you know. Yeah, I'm a little demon. You know, I mean? keep you in the comments, all right? I have five people kids, all right? All right? <laughs> um, we were working on the game night. Mm-hmm. February's the date. We have more, I promise you. Mm-hmm. You gotta listen mm-hmm. to the end. Shout out my nigga H. He, t- a couple of people listened to the end. And he was like, yo, the game night is a good idea. So that means niggas is listening. Yeah. You feel me? And definitely don't just listen, but come too. No, no. They, the people It'll that listen, the people that I already had, one of my homegirls said, um, make sure there's some nice men here. She, you see, she's catching vibe. I like, I keep that in mind. Three is in, you feel me? It's in full effect. You feel me? It's you feel me? Um, we worked on our merch ideas. Yes. Um, Shit, more content to come. Happy holidays as well. I don't yes. know what holiday you celebrate because it could be going on right now. Oh, but nonetheless, yeah. Yeah, so happy holidays to all. We love um, inclusivity. Even though Santa and Jesus. We love inclusivity. Um, mm-hmm. Yo, we off okay, camera. I, mm-hmm. I did the science. I did the science. But, we love inclusivity. Um, you know, spend the time with the family, the friends. That's it. Any any, any shout outs? What you want to do. Utah, Aspen. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, the same old, same old, child. Like, JJ Half. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people continue to support and... Welcome back. We appreciate Welcome y'all. Welcome back. Yeah, and we, I feel like, you know, our engagement has been going up. Yes, yes. Like, the numbers are going up. You know, we still want y'all to really tap in in the comments. With Facts. your own personal stories, scenarios, questions. Or like, jokes. Or jokes, or jokes. yeah. Or a top um, three idea. Nah, for real, yeah. Or so a like, topic that you want us to dissect as well. That too. Or something y'all want Jade to beat me in a debate with. Yeah. She did win that category. I'll be back. I'll be back. You heard? You heard? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, you know, there's going to be times when he, he busts my ass too, so. It's all right. I'm you waiting know? for you. Because I, 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 I was hype. And you were. You were like, very hype for that one. Yo, because I don't know if my man was talking about that. I don't know if you saw the comment. He was like, you Jedi trick, Jedi <laughs> mind, mind trick me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Not shooting Bill, we ending the show on this, right? What messed me up, right? Mm-hmm. I was prepared to rebut you, but you made me go first. That's what fucked me up. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, she was smart. When I'm watching that shit back, I'm like, she's so fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, I had to put it in your court because you want to talk about it so bad, so bad, so bad. Yes, but I so want let, to. So uh, let's talk. I was ready to employ Mayweather. I wanted to counter punch. Yeah. I didn't come to Mike Tyson this shit. I came to Mayweather this day. All right, right? you know? But, I bet that is. Maybe. You get what I'm saying? And that's just that on that. This is yeah. late. Um, yeah. Also, to end the show, happy belated birthday to my brother Nick. Happy heavenly birthday. Damn, it's about to be shit. It's about to be 20 years. 20, but yeah. it's almost close to 20 years since he's been gone. Next year, he's turning 50. 
So happy 49th birthday, Nick. Love you. Keep watching Nova. Please watch over mommy because she be going through it when these days. Mm-hmm. <sighs> For her, him and all. Oh, my God. So I wanted to say happy birthday to my brother, Nick. Love you, kid. Miss you like hell. And continue to watch over. You know that's Press the Middle Name, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, 03 is stories from the past, jokes on the present, and advice for the future. And just like that, that's a wrap for episode 4. Mm-hmm.